Namaste and welcome to my presentation. I'm going to present here on the topic of uh, own is not born a woman. It is written by the Monique Witty. Uh, this is the overview of my presentation. First of all, I'd like to inform you that um, I'm going to present about the author's introduction and I go to the content, naturalist concept on the origin of womanhood, radical view to establish the right of lesbians, criticality and Marxism and plea for liberation. And lastly, I go to the conclusion, my part. Wittig, uh, Monique Wittig is a French feminist theorist and activist. But it was a central figure in lesbian and feminist movements in France. Especially, she is associated with the emergence of queer theory. Queer theory especially focuses on the right of uh, LGBT, lesbians, and gays' right. She was also involved in radical feminist group at that time. She explored the interconnectedness and intersection of lesbianism, feminism, and literary form. Especially, she explored in her writing. She had a materialist approach in her work. She demonstrated a very critical theoretical approach in her essay. Materialist concept and the origin of womanhood. With the questions uh, over the gender. Which tries to highlight the importance of deconstructing the concept and origin of womanhood using a material perspective. She argues that the basis of women's oppression is biological as well as historical. Basic of society or the beginning of society lies in heterosexuality. Even in the different communities, they only believe on heterosexuality. They only believe in two sexes and genders, male and female, and man and woman. So matriarchy is no less heterosexual than patriarchy. It is only the sex of the oppressor that changes, according to the witty. She says that our bodies as well as our minds are the product of manipulation of the same society, which dominates our priests against the women, especially in her terms to the lesbians. Whitaker states that labeling of a group people as women is a means of naturalizing and mystifying an explorative social relation. By rejection that womanhood is a matter of bodily characteristics, which argues that the idea of a natural group of women on the basis of body is a result of social oppression. There is social oppression. She feels somewhere social oppression against the woman. The fact that most people take gender for granted and refuse to look at it as a social construct leaves them blind to material condition of women's oppression and further reinforces it. So, which it argues that the lesbian society destroys the artificial social fact constituting women as a natural group. Because different society, many societies, creates their fact over the lesbian. And so the lesbian society destroys the fact. It pragmatically reveals that the division from men of which women have been the object is a political, social one, and shows that we have been ideologically rebuilt in a natural group. Our radical view to establish the right of les lesbians, lesbians will be unable to abandon by will or impulse impulse according to the witty as a lifelong and centuries old commitment to childbearing and the female creative act. Even in the different underdeveloped and developing countries, female are thought as a thing like the thing to be a child, to solve the man. And the society always dominates. 
it is the gender perspective that the social norms are created according to the society, according to the historical perspective, and they always dominate the woman. Women will have to abstract themselves from the definition of women, which is imposed upon them. It is imposed by the society upon them. She agrees with Simon de Beauvoir, who claims one is not born, but becomes woman after their birth. When they grow up, girl become woman. And the society creates the norms against the woman. However, Wittig focuses on the queer advocation. She is further advocates than Simon de Beaver claim that she focuses on the queer advocation, lesbians and gays right. According to the Wittigs, lesbians should always remember and acknowledge how unnatural, compelling, total oppressive and destructive being woman was for them. In the old days, before the women's liberation movement, after the women's liberation movement, women get the right, even the declaration of human right, emphasize on the equal right of men and women, and also focuses on the women's rights, child rights, so on. So it was because of the women's liberation movement. It was a political constraint, and those who resisted, it were accused of not being real women and against the society. That society blamed them, that they were against the society, and they disobeyed the rule of society. Lesbians were accused of wanting to be men. Even in the developing and underdeveloped countries, they, there is not legal provision to accept the lesbians or gays in the society in that country. And uh, in, the, in some of the developed countries, there is also some of uh, rules and regulation to support the lesbians and gay as a people. So at least for a woman, wanting to become a man proves that she has escaped her initial program. Lesbian has to be something else, not a woman. Most of the society in the underdeveloped countries, thinks that lesbian and gays are not legal. And they are, if someone talks about them, then he is accused of something other than is that who does not support the social norms and values. So Lesbian has to be something else, not a woman, not a man, a product of society, not a product of nature, for there is no nature in society. And they are counted as something different. As Andrea Dawkins emphasizes, many lesbians recently have increasingly tried to transform the very ideology in the different countries with their develop ideas. Lesbians has enslaved. They think that they are enslaved in the dynamic, religious, psychological, compelling celebration of female biological potentiality. And they think they are oppressed and dominated and excluded. So we take focuses on the struggle against the patriarchal society. Wittig argues that fight aims to suppress men as a class, not through a geological, geocidal, but a political struggle. Wittig argues that they should uh, take some political issues to fight against the oppressors and dominators. First, I fight for myself and it make possible to fight for someone deprived of an identity. It means that if someone wants to fight against the all oppressed lesbian or feminist, first of all, she must make possible to fight for someone else, 
first of all, each person make possible to fight against and they unite and they fight for all. Here's the point. We have to destroy the myth inside and outside ourselves. There is one kind of myth. There is one kind of uh, historical culture against the lesbians or women. So myth is inside and outside the society. Woman is not each of one of us, but the political and ideological formation which negates women. As Virginia Woolf said that the first task of the woman writer is to avoid the angel in their house. So this is the point that they must have courage. They must struggle against the oppression and domination. So we take uh, puts her critical view on Marxism. Marxism especially focuses on the struggle against the oppression and dominate. Marxism focuses that there are two classes. Bourgeois is dominator, oppressor, and the proletarians are dominated or oppressed. So in this case, she agrees with the Marxism that lesbian and feminist are oppressed people and they have to struggle against the oppression. However, it does not allow women any more than other classes of oppressed people to consider themselves as a historical subject because Marxism does not take into account the fact that class also consists of individual one by one. It, it, it is communal thinking. <clears throat> Consciousness of oppression is important to fight against the oppression and also to reorganize with the new concept. So where are the oppressor and where are the oppressed people? So oppressed people must be know that they have to fight, they have to struggle against the oppression. And when they are aware and united, and they can be successful to get the liberation from the oppression. Lesbian provides for the moment the only social form in which they can live freely. First of all, they, they, they have to live freely and they unite and they struggle against the oppression. I'm going to the last part of my presentation, conclusion, identity and destruction of heterosexuality. She says that it is an absolute necessity to get identification first, that even the lesbians are the same people as men and women or girl. They have to get identified, first of all, even in the some of the underdeveloped and developed countries, lesbians don't want to be open in the society because society hates them. Society does not accept them. So first thing is identification. She focuses on the necessity of a radical movement to establish the right of lesbian because survival of lesbian families demands to contribute all their strength to the destruction of the class of women within which men appropriate women. So lesbian feminist must unite and struggle against the oppression and must have get the right, their own right. She stresses on destruction of heterosexuality concept, which is prevailed in the existing society. So it is necessary to disrupt the heterosexuality as a social system, which is established as a social system, a strong social system that must be destructed, which is based on the oppression of women by men. The heterosexuality is based on the oppression 
it dominates women, a fresh woman by men, and which produced the doctrine of the difference between the sexes to justify the oppression. So they must de destruct the heterosexuality. Thank you. It's my presentation. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Namaste.